Oh, GI, you ask about their appetite. Um, you guys don't know what Gladys is, right? Gladys? Gas? Yeah, passing gas. Um, when you ask them for their last bowel movement, you want to ask, you know, the consistency of it, if it has some crazy odor, color, you know. Um, oral cavity. Um, just need to say, describe your lips, mucous membranes, teeth, and tongue, or the abdomen, okay? Um, how long should you listen to bowel sounds if they're, to determine if they're absent? Five minutes. So when you, don't, when you can't hear anything for one minute, then you go five minutes, all right? So one minute, then, then five minutes. Um, it should be in your book, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going off my, the top of my head because I, I mean, I'm, I didn't even know that you guys didn't even go over this, which is crazy. Um, all right. So when you palpate, you guys know how to palpate, right? Well, this one has light. There's three variations, isn't there? One a little deeper with one hand, and then deep is two hands. Yeah. <laughs> was that ex was that in the book? Is that what it said? One hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you palpate, you push. You use your one hand, your flat. Uh, use this as your flat hand, and then this is the one that's gonna push. All right. So you don't want to push your fingers and dig into his, because um, most likely that will hurt him. And he'll be like, oh yeah, I'm tender there, when they're really not. All right, so what you're trying to do is you're just trying to push with, you're pushing with your other hand. So you have like your flat pad right here. Then. All right, that's your light. So, you know, medium, you just go a little bit deeper. So if, let's say at light, this guy is complaining of uh, tenderness already. Would you go medium? No. Yeah, you wouldn't want to, right? I mean, why are you doing this? Why are, why are we uh, palpating uh, the stomach? What are we checking for? Is so there any bleeding in there? Or post operative patients? Sorry? See if there's any bleeding, maybe? How would you find out well, bleeding by like touching normal, the patient? If it's hard. Look for appendicitis or colobar uh, liver. Yeah, so you're, you're um, feeling for tenderness, right? Okay, what else? Tenderness, rigidity. Yeah, rigidity. Uh, guarding. So, um, you're feeling for, you know, if the organs are enlarged or there's any masses, anything crazy like that. That's what you're feeling for, okay? Um, but mostly it's for tenderness, you know? Like, if they're tender right here, what would you think they have? Happy. Yeah, so you don't want to just keep on pushing that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, make that explode and you have a uh, patient that will get peritonitis and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Come back later. Come back later when it exploded. Um, all right, what about here? They have tenderness there. Your bladder? Yeah, it could be their bladder. Prostate? <laughs> wow. um, that's a very wrong with place prostate. You know, like older people, like they get like diverticulitis, you know, it's usually like, like in the colon. So, you know, you're palpating your colon, you know, your liver. Oh, actually, if you can palpate the liver, what would that mean? <laughs> they have an enlarged liver. So your liver, you should not be able to palpate it past the ribs, okay? So if you can palpate the liver, then that would be wrong, all right? Okay. So many margaritas. Yeah. You're just an alcoholic. All right. Hey, Luan. I'm just going over the assessments real quick. And um, Jen said that you're going to do the SCD lecture or something. With them, what the SCD, the Ted host, the Ted host lecture. I didn't know that. Okay. But I don't even know if I printed it up. She has the the thing up, so. 
the slide up. Okay. Um, all right. 